friends, it's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a plan with me that I am super excited to share with you because it is a collab video with my friend Sherry from Planning Peep. I absolutely love her videos and she's such a sweet and wonderful person. So please, please, please check out her channel and her Instagram. I will leave links down below. We both bought this gorgeous kit from Oh So Papery called Sophia, and the print quality is so nice. I seriously love all the colors and watercolor illustrations. However, to be honest, the cuts weren't that great. Um, it was kind of frustrating to peel all the stickers, and it did take, I want to say, a couple months to get to me, so if you're planning on using um, this kit on a certain week, you should definitely order in advance, but um, it is coming from, I believe, the Philippines, so it's kind of understandable. I did get two other kits in my order, so you will be seeing me use those, and those are beautiful too. So here is my update. I pretty much fell out of planning in my Erin Condren because I just didn't have time to film, and I really do enjoy making these videos, so I just opted to have a separate planner for myself and keep this one for filming. And that's always up for change. Summer break is coming up, and I'll have a lot more time on my hands, so who knows? I'm just gonna go with the flow, but for sure the next eight or so plan with me's will just be memory keeping ones. I hope you don't mind. I mean, personally, I just watch plan with me's to get to know the person more than to learn how to plan. Maybe I'll pick up some ideas here and there, but um, yeah. Anyways, as you can see, I'm really struggling with that bottom washi, but I did decide to stack some Simply Gilded skinny washi on top, and I really love how that looks. Earlier in the video, I picked out some Manny Dreams glitter headers, and I'm going to be placing them in an alternating pattern, which I often do. And then before I do that, I put down the quote box in the Thankful Thoughts section. If you are wondering how I choose the color order of the glitter headers, I typically start with the top row, and then I try to go across in an order that makes it kind of look like an ombre rainbow pattern, and then the rest just follows, but I don't know if it actually matters. It just this is how I do it all the time. I just start with the top row. So Monday starts off already messed up. <laughs> I started to put down some activities that I thought I did on Monday, but I actually did on Tuesday. And the weird part is that not all of it was messed up. Like some of them I did on Monday and some of them were on Tuesday. It's kind of confusing, but you'll see which ones I move to Tuesday later on. <laughs> but I took one of the quarter boxes and I wrote that it was tax day, which was not true. <laughs> I used a calculator sticker from Happy Daya. Underneath, I used one of the page flags with the flowers on top. I love how they just kind of lay at the top of that flag. I'm just playing around with the placement of the coffee cup icon from the kits and the Coffee Monday sticker from my store until I'm happy with the look. Next, I used one of the asterisk dots to mark that my timesheet was due. I then took a print and cut sticker from my shop and I layered it on top of the full box and then I used one of the silhouette stickers from Very Cute Designs. Then I took one of the heart labels and I wrote that Brian had a job interview that evening, but that didn't happen on Monday, it actually happened on Tuesday, so I'll be moving that over later on. Next, I put down a Little Things header and I used one of the hexagon stickers as a layering piece for the washing machine icon from Peaceful Mind Designs to mark doing the laundry that evening. I took one of the page flags and used a package sticker icon from Very Cute Designs to mark packing orders that night. And then now I'm going to Tuesday and realizing that I messed up on several things on Monday. With the magic of undo, I took away that tax day sticker and I'm moving it to Tuesday and also Brian's interview. So I'm letting that dry before I place some other things on top instead. So I took another quarter box and wrote that I had to attend a student orientation that day. I used a pencil doodle sticker from my shop to decorate, and then I put the tax day sticker that I removed from Monday and I just moved it to Tuesday. Then I took a today header, and then underneath I used one of the thinner labels, and I wrote that Simply Gilded's website launched. Now I can't remember if the website just launched or if like you could start buying things, but whatever, I just put that down, and then I used this stack of washi doodle sticker from Very Cute Designs. I didn't like that awkward white space underneath the label, and I didn't want to put the washi sticker too far to the right, so I decided to peel it up a little bit, and then I stuck a strip of the Simply Gilded pink skinny washi underneath, and I really like that look, and I enjoy incorporating the washi in the spread. 
Afterwards, I continued the washi idea and went back to Monday to put a strip in the section that once had Brian's interview label. I put down a more pink toned watercolor full box down on Tuesday and then I grabbed another asterisk dot to write that I needed to make dinner reservations for our dinner on Saturday. I picked one of the half boxes and all of them are so pretty and none of them are exactly alike. I used another print and cut sticker from my shop and I got a printer icon from Very Cute Designs to mark working on orders. Then I realized I needed some space to put the interview label back, so I got some undo, moved that half box a little bit higher, and then I fit that label in. Now onto Wednesday, and Wednesday was a pretty tough day for me work-wise. Um, all I can say is that I was really pushed to my limits in a way that I think is good for me, but um, it was scary nonetheless. Anyways, I took one of the full boxes and a brush pen, which I left a link down below for that. And I wrote, be kind to yourself because I am very, very critical of everything that I do. Even simple plan with me videos like this, I'm sure I'll watch later on. I'll be like, I shouldn't have said that. Um, but anyways, I put down a gold foil bow sticker from Honeydew Paper Shop. Then I placed down a Today header and a This Is Fine Maru sticker from my shop because that's how I felt. I felt like everything around me was on fire and I was on fire, but I stayed as calm as I could in the situation. And in the end, the goal was met, so it was all good. I took a page flag and I laid it down vertically and then I took one of the thinner labels and I layered on top this crying munchkin from Once More With Love because I did cry that afternoon. And that's okay because I'm human, but I did have ice cream for dinner that night and I have no regrets. So I wrote that in and I took an ice cream soft serve sticker from Happy Diet and I layered it on top of a small page flag. I took some time to design some journaling cards that I now include in all of my orders. So I used an iPad sticker from my shop for that. And now I'm flipping on to Thursday and magically all of the glitter headers are on there. I laid down a Today header and then I took one of the quarter boxes and I used a teacup sticker from Samantha May Sticks to write down that I drank some green tea in the morning. I was still thinking about the previous day, so I got myself kind of a weird lunch. I got some boba, and I also got some french fries, so that's what I ate. And to mark that, I got some doodle stickers from my shop. After writing that in, I put one of the full boxes down, and then I layered on top this Happy Diet character that is packing some sticker orders, and then I took my brush pen and I lettered underneath it. Before, I used another Tombow brush pen, but I think I like this one better. It's the Tombow Fudanosuke hard tip pen, I think, and the other one I used was dual-ended, so I don't really know the difference because I can't read Japanese, but I like this one better for writing in my planner anyways. Next, I put one of the long page flags and I layered on top this gym sticker from Mandy Dreams. And then I took the circle sticker from the kit and I layered on top a laptop icon from my store. And then I wrote next to that that I just watched some YouTube videos. For dinner, Brian and I got some Chipotle, so I wrote that on a meal label. And then we watched some episodes of New Girl, so I took a TV label for that. For the rest of the week, I sort of went ahead and I put all of the full boxes down so I can kind of visually see what it would look like and how much space I had left. On Friday, there was another Simply Gilded release, so I wrote that in and I used another washi sticker from Very Cute Designs. I did a lot of treat yourself shopping that day. It was also, I think, a Sephora sale was going on, so I put in an order with my sister. The shopping bag and skincare doodles are from my shop, and then underneath I brush lettered Sephora and I wrote in sale with my gel pen. I took this happy diet character that is furiously online shopping, and that was a majority of my morning, so it was fitting to use. And then I used one of the three heart ombre checklists to write some to do that day. I took another long page flag and I layered another gym sticker from Mandy Dreams on top. We ate out for dinner, I used a spoon and fork icon and then I wrote down the name of the restaurant next to that. And then I put down a TV time sticker from Sugar Paper Bear. I move up to the weekend and then I remember that I forgot to mark my one year work anniversary, so I used a heart label and I stuck it on top of Thursday. Then I put down the weekend banner and I love this weekend banner. 
It's just very delicate and it blends into the spread nicely. And then I took one of the half boxes and I did some lettering. That Saturday was Brian and I's first date anniversary. It's been three years since that day, so I wanted to make it really special. I can't believe that it's already been three years. Like, time just flew by really fast, and I know everyone always says that, but it's very true. I got this cute couple sticker from Kina Prince, and I thought it would look adorable on top. And then I realized I made yet another mistake. I don't know why I put that full box in the middle of the day because we had an evening event, so I moved that full box down below. And then in the middle, I put a half box, and there was a bunch of sticky residue left from the sticker itself and the undo. I tried to scrape it, but it couldn't get everything off, so I'm going full no white space on this column. I mean, not really full, I guess partially, because there's white space in the top section, but close enough. In the half box, I used another package doodle from Very Cute Designs to mark packing orders. And then I got some milk tea that day to help push me to finish some orders. And I got some Earl Grey milk tea, which is different. I usually get jasmine, but it was pretty good. I didn't know what to do with that white space, so I ended up peeling up the label and I put another section of the Simply Gilded Washi and then I put back the label on top. So for our date anniversary dinner, I took Brian out to this omakase sushi restaurant um, in San Francisco and it was really good. We've never had omakase before and if you don't know what that is, I mean I just found out what it is. Um, it's basically a set menu and the sushi chef prepares everything and it was like a seven course meal that the chef picked himself and everything was super fresh so very very tasty and a wonderful experience and then afterwards we got some drinks at a nearby bar. Now on to Sunday, I put down a half box and then I layered another print and cut sticker from my shop and then this time I used a printer from Very Cute Designs. Afterwards, I met up with Jeanette from Paper Kuma Co and we had a little business meeting which was really cute because I picked this place that had some milk tea and these really adorable and delicious macarons. So I used a Coco Bear which is a character from her shop and then I grabbed a macaron sticker from Samantha May Sticks next to that. It was a really fun meeting and you should look out for some special collaboration coming out in the future. Afterwards, I had some me time, so I wrote that in a half box with my brush pen. I painted my nails, so I took a thin label and this nail polish icon from Peaceful Mind Designs on top. And then I had a little bit of white space at the bottom and I didn't want to use more Simply Gilded Washi because it would be too close to the piece on the bottom. So I found this really thin piece of pattern washi from the kit. So that is it for my plan with me. I just finished up my sidebar with some stickers. Of course, I'm missing some clips because I always miss clips somehow. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and being patient like always and um, definitely check out Sherry's video. I'll leave a link down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more, and I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye!